morning good morning you guys welcome back to a new vlog i'm so excited for this vlog in particular here let me bring you closer because i'm gonna be doing like a day in my life in argentina kind of like how i would do a day in my life back home i thought it'd be so much fun to film this trip this way at least like a day because it gives like a different perspective on the day because like when you do travel vlogs and stuff like that it's like multiple days consecutive days or like the whole trip just like in one video but like doing it this way it's like a little bit more in depth it'll allow me to like get more context for the day so i thought that that would be a lot of fun and especially like with being here in argentina for me it's not like a touristy trip at all like it's just kind of like living like a local i'm living in juan's parents house for this trip and it's just so much fun. So I'm excited to take you along today. And obviously just like the rest of the trip, there's gonna be one more vlog coming after this. That's like the rest of the trip. So that's gonna be like, like a week or less in one video but we are getting ready to go for breakfast and i need to put on the essentials you guys we have off right here we have just like the spray version but then we also got the cream and i'm happy to report that i have no new bug bites <laughs> since uh since i first reported so we're just going to cover myself in this i'm hoping to be able to get into the backyard a little bit later and just like lay out yesterday was a super stormy day the only stormy day that we've had so far but the gardener is here and he's just back there cleaning up and doing his thing so i obviously don't want to like get in his way but i'm hoping to be able to like lay out get a little bit of color i did the other day i got some sun on my shoulders which i'm really happy about because i am translucent <laughs> For breakfast, we're just gonna go to, I think, I'll have to confirm with Juan when he gets down here, but the same place that we have been going to, it's fairly close to where Juan's parents live. It's called Tipica, and it's like this really cute place. So I'm excited about it. They have the most delicious croissants and many lumas. So we'll see what I end up getting. I keep getting lemonades from there because they are so good but i feel like i want to i don't know get something different today so we'll see Before Juan needs to start working for the day, we went home and grabbed Kelly. Quédate. Come. To give her like a little walk. Today feels nice. Yes. Yeah. Doesn't feel humid. It's kind of breezy, kind of chilly. I mean, I like still it. shirts and shorts. Yeah, this still works. But I, I'm a little cold, like a tad. <laughs> no? back home back inside I keep getting so many people calling i have so many spam calls i can't answer any calls here not like i would anyways okay so back in the room and it's so sunny outside right so nice that i want to actually like lay in the backyard and see if i can get like a little bit of color um so i'm gonna change at least into like a swim top and then some like shorts and then we're just gonna sit outside and read a little bit I am still reading, let me grab my Kindle because you guys know I love to travel, ooh, the lighting. I love to travel with my Kindle just because of like space reasons, but I just so prefer um, a book, but that's okay. So I'm reading The Things We Leave Unfinished and it is from the same author as Fourth Wing, but it's like a romance book instead of it being like a romance -y. I like it so far. I'm only like three chapters into it, so it's still like at the beginning, but so far so good. So let's see if I can like make a dent a little bit in the reading before we deal 
like with lunch and all like that sort of stuff. So let me change. I'm still a massive fan of my Hunza G bathing suits. I have the black one, but like in a skinny spaghetti strap version, but I just got this one that's just like a little bit thicker and a little bit more coverage. And then these shorts are the aloe shorts. Love these. I need a clip for my hair, I think. And we're gonna put on more sunscreen and more off because, you know. of silence where echoes remain you were the sunrise and I was the rain a collision of souls opposing and fly I was the darkness you yearned for the light made me sleepy. We're having a little lunch right now. Leftover lunch. The Argentine pizza. And Juan is working. Right here. I'm kind of wanting a nap. Do you want to eat raviolis tomorrow? And then you can go with my mom to buy fresh pasta too. Yeah, that's what your mom was just saying. If we wanted to go get fresh pasta. Mm -hmm. and she said she needs to go before whatever. Before five. Yeah, go. Get your off on. <laughs> to get out of the house. Come on, Look at this garden. Did you see he painted? No. Yeah, it's white. It's white wow. now. Or it's kind of like a light pink. But sure. <laughs> One of the, the neighbors were going to, to look for another color. <laughs> That's so funny. Yeah. But who? Who chose pink? Was it? He did? Yes. Oh. Yeah, there's a really funny story like the neighborhood neighborhood security <laughs> guy had <laughs> he um, made some like plant boxes to I guess grow stuff while he's working. <laughs> he's there all the time and he painted the plant boxes like a pink color but then the neighbors complained, right? about the color, so then now they're white. <laughs> but I love it. So we're on our way to go to the Fresh Pasta store. Yeah. I'm so excited for this. I think this is my first time going to a Fresh Pasta store. You turn on the lights, buddy. Fresh Pasta. We're probably gonna have Fresh Pasta tomorrow, right? Yes. Tomorrow lunch. Lunch, tomorrow. The road is very bumpy. They have 
speed bumps like every 20 feet <laughs> to make sure that people don't speed everywhere. Um, but yeah, we're gonna have it tomorrow for lunch, it sounds like. And then tonight, we're gonna go over to some more friends of Juan's. You guys, he has like five million friends. It's kind of insane, I feel like. This is a different group that we haven't seen yet. But we're gonna have a asado. Another barbecue, which I'm looking forward to. Like good Argentinian. Yes. <laughs> is this our last asado? No. Well. Saturday lunch. And then perhaps Saturday night. With we'll who? See. I don't know. Okay. Okay. So there might be some more delicious meat in our future. Just got home, but these are the fresh pastas and what they look like. We got a few different kinds. So excited about this. This will be in the other vlog um, since we're gonna make these tomorrow. But I figured I would show you guys. I had the most amazing nap. I just felt like I needed one. But as you can see here, I took off all of my makeup and I'm reapplying it to go out tonight just so that it is fresh. But I've been doing like this modified um, makeup routine here. Kind of like not quite my no makeup makeup, but not really like my full makeup either. I don't know. I've been really enjoying it. So we're gonna do that again. And it's pretty fast to do as well. So but yeah, I was so tired and that's the beauty of vacation. You can take like some naps and stuff and not feel guilty about it. So that's that's what we did, you know? But I fell asleep watching Gilmore Girls and you guys, Gilmore Girls has been my jam lately. I have been watching it this entire trip. I started it uh, like two weeks before we left. Um, I'm on season three, episode eight. And if you know Gilmore Girls, you know what that means. We've officially entered the Rory and Jess era which I'm so excited for. If you watch Gilmore Girls, are you a Dean fan or are you a Jess fan? I feel like folks are divided, you know? But anyways, all of my makeup is just like scattered around right here. Brought my little portable mirror. It's so tiny and it like folds up. It's excellent. And I have some like books under it to like prop it up. And I have the craziest story, guys. At least I think it's crazy. Do you guys use Carmex? Carmex. Oof. I have a story for you. I've always used it for like as long as I could remember. Not like consistently, but it's like the chapstick that's in my car. So every time I'm in my car, sometimes I throw it on. And before I left for the trip, let's say like a month before, I started, I guess, using it quite a bit more. I had one in my purse and I had one by my office desk as well. So yeah, I guess I was just using it more. And all of a sudden I started to break out in this rash around my nose and my mouth and but I also changed other things around the same time and plus like I said I've used Carmex for like ever ever so I never like suspected it but yeah I had like this I think it was pyridol dermatitis you guys it's still trying to like recover it's all over my nose I'm sure you can see it from like the last few of my vlogs but yeah like this huge spot on this side it started to spread on this side and then it kind of just spread a little bit on my chin as well. I'm still trying to recover from it. Um, it come down so, so much, but it was so red and it was so irritated. It's kind of like flaking a bit. Oh man, it was so bad. And yeah, a couple days ago, I was just like, I have no idea like what's causing this. This is insane. And I remember like starting to use Carmex some more and I go into like these like crazy theories of mine of like what could have like changed and like caused that. And I was like, you know what? I think it's the Carmex. So I'm gonna stop using it and let's just see what happens over the next couple of days. Sure enough, I'm starting to clear up and it was the only thing that I changed and it's the only thing I stopped using. Needless to say, I think it's exactly what caused my parietal dermatitis. Guys, do you have experience with like chapsticks doing that to you? It kind of threw me for a loop. So now I'm like super scared of using any sort of chapstick 
or lip gloss or whatever on my lips because I don't know what it is. Is it the petroleum or like something that's in it? I started to go like on this crazy search on Google and like found some like Reddit posts of people saying like it did the same thing to them. I don't know. I thought that that was so insane though. So now we're on a journey of healing and trying to get it to go away but of course it's not gonna be overnight to clear up all of those bumps like I said it's already been two or three days and it's still kind of red and I can still see some of the bumps and it like went like in my nose a little bit and it was like flaking oh but I just thought I would share that crazy story with you guys and see if you guys have had like a similar experience with Carmex or maybe something similar i've had it happen before like when i changed toothpaste i broke out and it like went up into like my cheek and stuff oh that was so bad this was years ago and it was because it was like god what's like the one of like the most popular brands of toothpaste i can't remember what it is but i'll put it on the screen the exact brand i used but it was because it had sls in it and that was my whole journey of removing every single product that had sls in it from my life <laughs> This was back when I like lived in the condo that I lived in, like my Airbnb. So yeah, definitely a long time ago. So I haven't had it since then. So then I was like panicking. I was like, oh my God, is it my toothpaste? But then obviously I didn't change my toothpaste. So I think I found the culprit, but that was so weird. So weird. So I think I'm gonna sit here and finish doing my makeup, continue to watch Gilmore Girls. Juan went over to his friend's house while I took a nap watching Gilmore Girls just to like still spend more time with some of his friends. So it kind of worked out perfectly. And he will be here soon to pick me up so that we can go to dinner, go to the asado. I just love Argentina, guys. I love visiting here. I love just like, I don't know. It's like the feeling you get when you're here. Everyone is so, it's like in their culture, but everyone is just like so family oriented. Like people genuinely care and ask like how your life is and how like things are going and also like everything is I don't know it's just like all surrounded by family if I'm making any sense so people want to go see their family and hang out with their family and it's just like such a breath of fresh air and something that I just I just so need I just love Juan's family and friends so much it's definitely a different pace than the U.S. well at least for living in Washington and everything so I don't know. I just love it here. The food's amazing. The weather right now is amazing. Apart from when it was like stormy the other day. So it makes me so sad to think that we are going home in only a couple more days. So just gotta enjoy the time that we have left. It's just kind of bittersweet because then you get to go home and go back to Oliver and Gray. <laughs> well, my camera died mid-sentence. I think I was saying something about going back to see Gray and Oliver and the excitement for it. But I went ahead and just continued doing my makeup and finish it up. I am so happy that I at least had one lip product in my bag that wasn't Carmex. You guys, I bought three freaking tubes of this crap. <laughs> so I've been using this, the peppermint flavored one for the last day. So far, so good. But I'm definitely gonna take a look at all of the ingredients in these lip products when I get home and like try to find some other options. But yeah, I'm going lip liner free tonight and just sticking with this look. And then now I just need to go fix my hair really quickly, but I'm still gonna wear um, the same like tube top that I've been wearing all day and then just pair it with the jeans that I threw on earlier. I got out of my skirt because it was starting to get like a little bit cold like as it got into the evening. So I think I'm still gonna wear jeans tonight, some sandals, and then maybe throw on like a button up or a jacket. Okay, it changed my mind. Instead of like the light wash denim that I was wearing earlier, those ones I got from um, Shop Alley Grace, like custom made. I decided to go with this darker pair. This is girlfriend denim. It's one of my favorite pairs. It's like not quite a high rise. It's a little bit lower and it's like baggier too. It's such a good pair. So I'm gonna wear these and then I'm actually gonna wear my Sambas. I'm gonna wear sneakers and not sandals. Just in case it is like pretty cold tonight, I want my feet to be warm too. And then I knew I should have brought like a cardigan 
or something that would have been really cute with this outfit but of course i didn't so i'm just gonna bring a jacket because i think this will look weird it's just too loose on loose and too like long and it's not like long sleeve either i could wear this that i was wearing earlier but again it's it's just not giving me no it's not giving me the look of what i'm wearing so without getting into like a full crew neck sweatshirt those are the only options i brought unfortunately so it looks like i have to go with this jacket it's from lululemon and it's like a really lightweight um like rain jacket in a sorts but it could still provide some warmth and I like the length of it, you know, it's like cropped. So it's not like super taken away from the outfit. I almost forgot I had this jean jacket, but I'm sure it's not gonna look good. <laughs> no, I'd rather go with the black jacket than this. I mean, I could change my pants to like some black pants and then that would be like a really cute outfit. But I don't think it's gonna keep me as warm to change pants. Okay, I'm gonna stop, we're done. Okay, this is what I'm wearing. <laughs> Boludo, mira el plano que estoy teniendo, es increíble. No, se ve. No se ve nada. Lo hacemos dos veces. No sé qué año son, negro. Nada. En 10 minutos, 15 minutos. ¿Cómo es? Ya te es ok. ¿Estás bien? Ya, ya, ya. Ok, perfecto. Ok, great. Perfecto. Yeah. Nice. Nice. ¿Más? ¿Más, por favor? Ok. And the sorry so please. Yeah. Woo! Wow, more. Yeah, please. All, all. Okay, next time <laughs> she will do it. <laughs> oh, Garisa! And tell me all that you've seen, all the colors. tired but the food was delicious love seeing everyone but we're gonna go to bed i just changed into my pjs and i'm waiting for juan to get out of the bathroom so that i can wash my face and brush my teeth but i really hope that you guys enjoyed spending a day with me in argentina this was such a fun video to film but subscribe stay tuned there is one more argentina vlog coming after this um and then also if you've missed my other ones there's one more argentina vlog before this and there's also like a packing and prepping video that i did before i got here and of course just so much other videos and content that i feel like you guys would love so check it all out subscribe so you don't miss out on even more but i love you guys and i will see you in a couple of days in my next one bye